Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem. And for today's episode, well, not today, but this episode, we will be joining in on this stimulating conversation. Now then, ah, your clothing, are you of the Lorca tribe? I'm the chief's daughter, do you hurt so? What do you think? Nice to you, I am unscathed. You were pushed inside a closet. You have my gratitude. And sword, is it safe? Yes, I have to seal, I have sealed the sword safely away. Until I remove my spell, the sword cannot be dropped. Now, as I talk about gratitude, I shall allow you on your hands, Papa Lady Cutty. Touch the blade's pattern to play for a safe journey. Oh, thank you so much. What, is it an honor to touch that thing? What the? Hmm? What did... The sword, it's glowing? Ah, hmm, it's the power of the spirits. It's a light brand. Lynn, they have looked into your soul and they call out to you. What does that mean? Yeah, what does that mean? Uh, mm, you are its rightful owner. You are to wield the money, Kathy. No, I can't. I couldn't. Could she? I mean, could she? It's the, it's the sword's wish. If you require proof, draw it from its, draw it from its sheath. Um... But she's a girl, can't... I've never dared to hope that I might meet the wielder of the Moncati in my life. I'm indeed fortunate to see your sword reach your hands. My sword? Hey, it's your sword now. It's time for you to go in. You face many great ordeals. Grip the sword and meet your destiny. Yes, sir. Hmm. I have to say, Lynn, you impress me every single day. So this is Monikati, a blade with no equal. This is all so unbelievable. I agree. Perhaps the most famous sword of all sake in my hand. It's not so strange. In fact, many legends tell similar tales. Special blades all over when they come out to the proper owners. And yet, when I saw you try that blade like this, I felt something extraordinary. That sword was waiting for you. You were meant to draw it. Stop it. I, I'm nothing special. Stop doubting yourself. Think of it this way. Some weapons feel more comfortable in your hand, alright? Well, the Monokami itself feels very comfortable with you. Does this make it easier for you to accept? It doesn't appear that any of us, you know, either of us, can use it. We can't? Yeah, not even me. It does feel very nice. Only I can. That seems reasonable enough. I can understand that. I can't. What about me? This is my sword. I must care. Oh boy. Castle Kaelin cutscene. What? Malin's daughter is still alive? Uh. Yes, Lord Londren. The girl is traveling with kids and Sam. What are your orders? If we let them be. Bah! I heard that Northern Burn is full of bandits. More bandits? Jesus! She's just a girl. She'll not survive her journey here. Really? Well, she has me and Lynn. I'm more concerned with my older brother. His life must be ended quickly. You sick little... The poison. There must be no blunders. Yes, my lord. He suspects nothing and continues to drink it. The Marquess's death due, no doubt, to sudden illness is not far off. <laughs> soon, soon Kayla will be mine. Save. The secrets of her past revealed in the words of two knights of Elysia. Now, to meet her grandfather, Lynn heads west. To Lysia, and her to her destiny. A mountain range separates the Saki Plains from Burn. There are many bandits looking here. The cruelest which are on Talavert, who we don't have to face, thank God. They wreak havoc on both Saki and Burn, and their savagery knows no bounds. On her tenth day away from the plains, Lynn witnesses the atrocities herself. Wait, who is that?
Holy! This seems like a depressing place. This place, it's... The entire area is in ruins. Why doesn't the Marquez do anything to help? Because they're lazy? Talibur Mill is home to a gang of vicious, ruthless bandits. No Marquez holds power here. Or that. My villagers is near here. On the other side of the mountain. My people were... Talibur bandits came at night. It only took one night. One night? The survivors numbered less than ten, including me. Whoa! A soulless beast. I will never forget them. Never. Like this. Man. I'm not ready. I'll be back someday. I'll be stronger. I'll break their souls beneath me like twigs beneath a stone's hoops. I will avenge my people. I'll do everything in my power. When the time comes, bring me with you. Don't forget me either. Can't. Oh. You too, Link? Why is General Dragon? <laughs> yeah, General Dragon's coming too. Yeah, you're welcome. You're freaking welcome. Huh? Wait there, little lady. What are you going to do? What are you going to do to apologize, huh? Uh, I... That is, I... Hey, she's quite a catch, eh, buddy? I bet the boss gave us a pretty penny for her. Yeah, she rubbed me up a bit, so I guess fair's fair. It's no more than she deserves. They're going to have sense of her or something? What are we going to do with her flying mule? Don't you dare touch her. What? You just watch your mouth, girly. Do what you will. You just let her go. Please, that back. <laughs> Silly twit. Because I can only be fed in Ilya. Yeah, why don't you guys go up there? They're rare piece, worth more than you by far. We could sell it for a mountain of gold. Let it go? Ha! Huh. No, you can't. Come on, let's move. Okay, these things don't add up. What's this? Be on your guard. There seems to be some sort of commotion. That's. That's a Pegasus. Could it be? Florina? You know her? Is that you, Florina? Lynn? Florina? What are you doing in a place such as this? Notice that in the background, the place is all patched up. Is it you? Come on, no crying. I have something. Your acquaintances? She's my friend. This is Florina. Okay, we're gonna speed this up. She's a little comfortable around, man. What? Oh, oh, okay. So, she's a shy type. I, I saw this village, which is in perfect condition. See these two, and wow! Well, did you Pegasus land on them? Well, I a little. Aha! You heard her. She admits her fault. She stepped on my friend, and now she's got to pay. Did you apologize for her? Yes. I told her sorry many times over. It just wasn't listen. Eh, it's quite common. Pe people, and when I say people, I mean us. Men, we have a tendency to just flat out ignore the things that women say. Hey, wait, what's going on? What? The men are fair game, but don't put a scratch on the girls. <gasps> You're kidding me, right? No, no! Yeah, I know we're facing bandits. We've been facing bandits since the very beginning. Okay, come next episode, we'll jump these bandit guys.